on boats for a really long time with only the company of other men. They hop off the boat and the first thing they think of is, I'm going to church. <laughs> right? <laughs> nope. That's probably the second thing they thought of, though, because most of these sailors were Catholic. You push, and at that time, uh, actually it's still now, uh, sleeping with a prostitute was a sin. And so they had to confess that sin right away or else they risked when they died on the boat going straight to hell. Okay? So um, normally what they would do is hop off the boats, first visit the prostitutes, then go straight to the church and say, forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I did it again. Oops. Like Rudy Spears. <laughs> um, I just slept with a prostitute. Can you forgive me? And he would say, of course, my son. Of course, no problem. But confession at this point uh, in history costs money. So what better way to make money for the church than put it literally right next to all of the sin occurring, right? It just made sense. And so uh, this church took it one step further and became the first church to sell these confessions in advance, considered a prepaid sin card, okay? Um, so this prepaid sin card, how it worked. I'm a sailor, I just got off the boat, but the boat's only going to be here for maybe half a day, like a, an eight hour layover, like uh, this gentleman here. Okay, so I only have eight hours in the city. What do I wanna do? Uh, I want to go straight to church and say, forgive me, Father, for I'm going to sin. <laughs> this is all the dirty, disgusting, borderline, unforgivable stuff I'm going to do. Can you forgive me now? And then I can just be on my way. And he was like, sure, my son, no problem. Pay me double. So go ahead and double the amount you were going to pay me. No problem. And now you can go sin as much as you want. So all of the sailors took advantage of this because it gave them more time to sin. And uh, that way, when they got back on the boat, even if they drowned the very next day, they were still in God's good graces. You know, God is, uh, he's a businessman. So he was understanding about the situation.